Hi, how are you today? Uh, I'm going to show you something a little different today. I'm going to show you how to do uh, install a light switch with uh, just all push-in connectors. So first, we will take our two white wires. We'll strip off about a half of an inch. We're using number 14 wire, so we always strip with the 14 hole with the 14 wire. Take your push-in connector. We'll put the wire in. You want to make sure you have about maybe an eighth of an inch showing there. And it's just touching the bottom of the clamp that grabs the copper. So we'll push that copper in, push the copper up to the top. The insulation goes in under this orange, but you don't want to get the insulation under the uh, electrical connection. So again, we'll do the same thing with this other white wire. About a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth is showing. That's okay too. We'll push it in. Push it so that the copper is going up to the top. The insulation is going up under the orange. And we'll fold our white wires back in out of the way. We'll turn in the uh, screws that we're not using so that when if you're using a metal box especially you don't want them touching the side of the box because it will create a short and with a light switch you always switch the live wire so we'll take and strip off about about a half of an inch If your wire is a little bit curved or crooked, you want to make sure it's straight before you put it in those holes. That one's straight. We'll take our ground wires. We'll just push them into the connector like we did the... Alright, see how that copper is going up to the top? Same up here. Push it up to the top. Same with this one, when you get it pushed up to the top. Look at them, make sure all three are up at the top. We'll push them back into the box. Now there's a strip gauge here on the back of the switch. So we line up our copper with that strip gauge. That one is just right. And that one is a hair long, so we're just gonna cut a little smidgen of it off. And we'll take and hook our ground wire up. We'll loop the wire the direction that the screw turns. Close our loop. Tighten the screw. And we'll put our wires into the hole. Now personally I don't really like these holes in the back because they don't always make a good connection. So I just push and make, see how that copper is showing a little bit at the top? You don't want that. So we're gonna take a little screwdriver here and we're gonna poke it in the back there and we're gonna pull that wire out and we're gonna cut a little of that copper off and we will put it back in the hole again. Okay, so we'll push our screwdriver in that little release hole.
See the uh, two uh, slots there below the pressure lock terminals? Those are the uh, release. It's the same on the outlets also. You put a little screwdriver in there and it will open it so you can pull the wire out. And you can see it on the, it's more, on the outlet, it's more on the side there. Okay, so we'll get back to hooking our switch back up again. So I wanted to show you the release and how to do it. Okay, so we'll get that down to our strip gauge. That one is right on. And that one is right on. So we'll put our ground wire around the green screw again. Close the loop. Now when we put the wire in, you feel it going into the lock, and the, see how the insulation gets, I want that insulation down flush with the plastic there so that, you see I feel the uh, top of the connection, so I push it in, I make sure it's in all the way, and that the little barb inside grabs the copper, and the copper goes past that barb a little bit, and we'll put, bring our ground wire, keep it up across the top, and the black and the white are clear of everything and we'll push the, screw this into the box. Uh, I put the switch upside down so you can see how the ground wire went around the screw on this side. But some there are a few people that like down, on, up, off. But I'm putting this in upside down so that you could see where the ground wire, how it was wrapped around the screw. So I folded the ground wire so it stays zigzag across away from the terminals. Now I'll show you putting it in the other way. If you see no, that means the switch is upside down. So, But there are a few people that like down, on, up, off, but I'm going to turn it around the way that is normal. Okay, so this is the normal way, down, up, on, down, off. So uh, we'll make sure our ground wire is coming down this time and going across down on the bottom. And uh, our black and white is going up and down like an accordion. And this is the standard way of putting in the switch. Now you'll see on, off. Now in France, I believe they put uh, down, on, up, off. So I do see that occasionally here in the United States where I'm born, but not very often. But Oh, on the uh, TWA airplanes, I'm told, I'm not 100% certain, but I am told they liked their switches down for on and up for off. 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's just something that I have heard. But don't take my word for it, because I'm not a certified airline mechanic. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed my video.